Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we will be covering probably the most mediocre sword in pre-hard mode. Mediocre meaning it's not great, but it's not terrible. Of course, today's video is on the Beekeeper. But what is the Beekeeper? Well, being a 33% drop chance from Queen B, it's at least three bosses into your playthrough. So you would probably expect his damage to be somewhere around that stage. However, if we look at the damage tests, it doesn't really add up. The Beekeeper, with no stat boosts, averages around 90 to 100 DPS. However, a pre-boss weapon like the Enchanted Sword can average just above that. Here's a direct comparison on screen if you don't believe me. With the Beekeeper on the left and the Enchanted Sword on the right, as you can see, the Enchanted Sword averages around 10 more DPS. Of course, this isn't accounting for the Beekeeper's bees that it summons when attacking an enemy or the confusion debuff that it applies. In reality, the Beekeeper is a true melee weapon, meaning it's usually overshadowed by other melee weapons anyway. In fact, while researching for this video, I found that most videos on the Beekeeper were actually just talking about how to get it to craft a Zenith. But aside from that, let's see how the weapon actually does against some bosses. First off, I'm just going to say this now, this weapon is completely useless against the Wall of Flesh because of its true melee range. But let's try a bit more of an appropriate boss, like this. After disabling god mode, I went in for the fire. Now, I will admit, I am no expert at the Deerclops fight, but I have to say that the damage is rather impressive. But even with platinum armour and a shield of Cthulhu, it is very difficult to get near him without taking damage. I mean, yeah, sure, you could improve this by drinking iron skin and endurance, but it probably wouldn't help that much. Overall, I would go for a more ranged weapon, have some kind of gun or bow, instead of such a short ranged weapon like the Beekeeper. And unfortunately, I ended up dying to fall damage because I'm a bit stupid. Thankfully, the interesting thing about the Deerclops fight is that he never despawns unless you leave the world, so you can always just go back and fight him later. Eventually, I developed a strategy of dashing under his legs or swinging my sword underneath him. This works for a while, but eventually, you're probably going to get caught out by one of his unlucky shadow hands and you'll probably die. Overall, I think the Beekeeper is a respectable weapon, but at the time you obtain it, it's a bit too late to be useful. I don't know about you, but when I fight Queen Bee, I've usually already got Hellgear by that point anyway, so I don't really see the point in it. So overall, the weapon is quite good, but has a really bad placement in the game, meaning it's not really used at all. Also, I thought I'd clear this up. Using popular demand, I'm now using my voice in videos as the poll had very clear results. If you didn't vote on this poll, it's probably because you're not subscribed, and if you're not, subscribe now to make sure you get notified when I upload daily videos and my community posts. Well, that's the end. I hope you enjoyed. Here are some more of my videos.